Johnson. We're down to the semifinals of our final stop on the World Pro Mogul Tour. We have Bill Keenan versus Joey Cordeaux. Joey Cordeaux, as we mentioned, has won the Saab Turbo. It's Bruce Bolesky versus Graham Godstein in our semifinals. And finally, Ken Gold against Chip Buffet for fifth and sixth. And I think they, anybody can stop Joey Cordeaux now as far as winning this competition. Uh, it's not likely, but I think Graham Godstein would certainly like to get some revenge back uh, for his brother David, who unfortunately fell earlier on this afternoon. It'll be close, but I think Joey's pretty much got it in the bag. Yeah, but Joey Cordova is skiing so on the steep course, as you said, it'd be awfully hard to beat. And earlier I had a chance to talk to Joey Cordova. Joey, what about this course here at, uh, at Arapaho? There's a lot to be to your liking, isn't it? Oh, very much. I love it. I mean, you, you're either in control or you're not. Is this the steepest course you've seen on the tour? Um, yeah, this is the steepest one of the year. And there is Joey Cordo. We'll have the yellow pants on with a black top against Bill Keenan, who's all in yellow. As he mentioned, this is the semifinals. Joey Cordo is the overall winner. He's won the car, but he'd like to win this championship, really finish off like a champion. Even so, this is going to be a very tough matchup of, against two of North America's finest competitors, of course, Joey Cordo from America and Bill Keenan from Canada. Very nice spread eagle by Joey Cordo. The light is really getting flat. Stay near the last and steepest section of this course. And Joey Cordo comes across the finish line, as does Bill Keenan. It's going to be extremely coarse. Both boys scored beautifully all the way around. And Joey Cordo realizes he has one, <laughs> claps his hands, so he goes on to the finals. Here's a little slow motion of Joey Cordo coming down the course. Absolutely beautiful body symmetry in the way Joey Cordo skis these moguls. Seems to have perfect balance all the time, Peter, right over his skis in the park. Right position. over his skis, and you've seen that this course has is, is really thrashed a lot of competitors around who aren't that familiar with body symmetry and being able to, to keep their body straight over their skis. He gets a little bit back there, but is able to pull, pull right over them again. Very nice skiing. As you mentioned, the light is becoming extremely difficult when it gets overcast. It really flattens out the whole course. And trying to determine, especially when you get air where you're going to land, must be very difficult. But as these mobile skiers know, you're, you must be able to compete in any, uh, under any condition. So Joey Cordell goes on to the finals. Now, earlier this week, I talked to the Godstein brothers about their mental attitude. What do you think about? How, how, do, you, how do you relax at the top of the hill? Uh, I do a lot of breathing exercises where I'll breathe deep into my stomach and relax myself just before the run and then try to stay as relaxed as I can so I build up the attention. I'll just build it up until right at the last minute when you break out of the starting gate then you want full energy and that's when you, that's when you let it all out. I think if I start deep breathing at the top and look at that course I'd probably hyperventilate and pass out I think it's a... <laughs> Well, at that altitude, it'd be hard to hyperventilate because there's not enough oxygen up there. <laughs> Does so. a danger element ever come into you, into it, as far as you're concerned, Dave? Danger is a big factor in this sport. One fall could end a career, so everything you do is, you don't want to go too far, but you want to go right to the, to the edge and ski at that ability. How about you, Graham? You, you conscious of what might happen or not? Yes, I'm always conscious of the danger element. That's a very important part, and you have to take the weather conditions and the snow conditions and the whole hill into consideration and then decide what you're going to do and how far you're going to take it. Oh, I think you're saying this right now, but I bet when you get on top you just go for it, but you don't even think about it. Well, huh? I don't right? know. No, it's really, you have to think about it because we've been doing it a long time, you know, and it's, there's definitely a danger factor there. Have either of you ever suffered a serious injury in, in mogul skiing? Lots of cuts and bruises. A lot of close calls and a lot of bruises, but we've been fairly lucky and survived a long career. Is that because you think you're, you're in good shape and your mental attitude is positive? Right. Oh, that's definitely an important part of it. Well, that's one of the beauties about the Pro Mogul Tour. There are very few serious injuries on the Mogul course. Now, the winner here will face Joey Cordo in the finals. That is Graham Godstein, number three, against Bruce Bolesky. Godstein is on the red course, and they're off. The World Cup veterans. Graham Godstein having competed in the World Cup several years ago, and Bruce Bolesky, a current World Cup competitor. Boy, Graham looks good. And so Bruce does Bruce Bolesky. Bolesky's looking awfully good, too. And Great the last run. section of the course, it looks like Graham Godstein will have the speed.
speed score, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he will win. Very close at the finish. Great run close. by both competitors. Let's see who the winner is, who will go into the finals. It's Graham Gottstein on the red course, goes into the finals against Joey Cordell. A race, says <laughs> Graham, I don't blame him. It's a real tough race against Bruce Bolesky. Both skied extremely well. In fact, so good, here is uh, Graham Gottstein again in slow motion.
course, would love to get revenge against Joy Cordeaux and at least win this competition. It's going to be tough, though. Beautiful spread eagle by Joey. He's skiing extremely well. And he is eyeing that soft turbo, I'm sure. Oh, oh Graham Godstein is down. Tough break. And Joey Graham. almost went down, almost hit the fence. Both and were that's full out. it. And there's our champion. He'd won the contest earlier. He'd won the car, but he wanted to finish like a champion and win the overall competition here at Arapaho Basin, which he's just done. They were going all up. Both almost fell. Graham went down. Joey was just able to recover. And it looks as though, from the way he's breathing, this was one of the toughest runs today. Well, the Pro Mogul Tour certainly has two outstanding champions. There are two world champions. <laughs> right. Hiller Angers coming in to congratulate Joey Cordell. Really is a fabulous sport. These competitors are really dedicated to what they do. And Joey Cordell certainly is a true champion for the man, along with Hillary Angers, as far as the women are concerned. Here are the final standings for the competition here at Arapahoe Basin. First is Joey Cordeaux, second is Graham Godstein, third is Bill Keenan, followed by Bruce Bolesky. But for the overall standings for the entire tour, Joey Cordeaux is still first. By the way, his wife was second overall in the women's standings behind Hillary English. Second was David Godstein. Third was brother Graham Godstein. This is Bud Palmer along with Peter Johnson saying so long from Arapahoe Basin. Our thanks for watching. Producer of this year's coverage of the Pro Mogul Tour is Gene LaPelle. Directed by Ed LaPelle. Executive producer for the Pro Mogul Tour, Mike Lipschitz. And our thanks to our cameramen and technicians for their excellent work covering the Pro Mogul skiing, which is pretty tough to cover.